Hey everybody, welcome to this video in our Nagios XI administration series. We're going to talk about moving your installation around. It happens sometimes, whether you're running it virtually or physically, sometimes you got to move that. Sometimes hardware's got to be upgraded, things happen. So if you can at all, if you have been running it virtually, that's the best way to do it. If you can just move an image, that will make your life easier for one. But the good news is that it's not difficult to migrate using a different process if you don't have a disk image that you can just move from one server to another. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. Stay tuned. Okay, so if you're not able to simply move an image of your XI installation and you need to use the restore process, it is pretty simple. Really, here's as simple as it is. You get your new server and you install Nagios XI on that server, you put your backup onto that server, you copy it, and then you use a restore script. Very simple. A couple of things that we do need to take a look at there. Uh, first, we're going to take a look at where you can find your backup. Here is the local backup archives. We're on the admin page down at the bottom. And this page is going to show you all of the backups that you have locally. You can create a backup here so that you can get something fresh and ready to go, and it's the most recent version of that. It is critical to know, though, that we have to match up the exact same version. So uh, you can see here that I am running Nagios XI 5.4.5, if I want to restore this exact installation to a new server, on that new server, I have to install 5.4.5. Here's the good news. Uh, this document that we link here, and we're also linking in the description of the video below, it has a link on it on page four, and this will take us to the list of versions. So whatever version you have that you need to restore to, you can have here. You download it, you install it to the new server, and then you drop in, you copy over the, uh, the backup file, and away you go. So really, you take this tar.gz and you put it right here in this path on your new XI installation, and this script that we have here this script here is going to take care of everything. It's going to untar, it's going to uncompress, it will run everything that you need and you will be up to speed and you will have moved your XI installation. A couple other notes. If you did anything on that new install, you made some modifications or some configurations, you may lose some of that when you run the restore script because it's going to restore it to exactly the way the backup is. Uh, also good to note, if you change the MySQL root password other than the default password, um, the shell script that I showed you that's down below, this guy here, you will have to edit that with the new MySQL password. From there, the other consideration is going to be the IP address. If, you know, it's going to be easiest if you're able to keep the same IP address. Obviously, all your agents and everything, you know, any passive situation that you're running, all the configuration that you have is sending to the existing IP address. If you have to change it, you got to change it. But if at all possible, try to keep that the same. That's all you need to know in order to move your Nagios XI installation. Thanks for being here. We got more videos to come.